back to Create with Chidex. I'm Chidima and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made a cake that looks like one of the cutest kids cartoon characters. Drum roll please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, my little boy has a Nemo toy that he's so fond of. In fact when he saw this cake he gave me specific instructions not to cut it. That Nemo. Yes that's Nemo. I didn't go him. I should not cut him. Hmm? Um, no. Okay. Don't cut me, man. <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> Kids are so funny. Anyway, before I move on to the cake, I'll leave you with one of my favorite quotes from Nemo. When life gets you down, you know what you're gonna do? Just keep swimming. So keep swimming guys, no matter how bad things get, and you'll surely get to the shore. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more realistic cake videos like this one, and I'll just get on right to the cake. So I've got my custom made cake stand here, which I constructed using uh, a piece of wood, some foam board, and some cake dowels. In my next step, I'll be molding the bottom part of the cake. To do this, I'm attaching and molding some modeling chocolate underneath the fish-shaped support that I cut from foam board. I'm also attaching some of the same modeling chocolate on top of the fish-shaped board. As I've prepared the baseboard for the fish, I'm now going to carve the cake. The cake I'm using has a height of approximately 2 inches, so I'll be carving out 2 layers for the fish, which when stacked up will make up a height of approximately 4 inches. I'm using the same template that I used to cut the first layer to cut the second one as well. My two cake layers are now ready to be stacked, so to do this I'm applying some buttercream onto the modeling chocolate base. This buttercream is going to serve as the glue to glue the cake to the board. I applied a layer of buttercream on top of the first cake layer before attaching the second one. So now I'm carving the entire cake into the shape of a fish. If you're doing this guys, take your time with it. Only take off a little cake at a time, as that way you don't stand the risk of taking off too much. So basically, I'm just rounding up the head area and then tapering off the tail area. I've finished carving the cake and this is what it looks like. So now I'm just applying a coat of buttercream all over the surface to seal the crumbs. After crumb coating the cake, I'm going to chill it in the freezer for 20 minutes. The cake was in the freezer for 20 minutes and now I've taken it out to apply a second coat of buttercream. I'm going to be covering the cake with modeling chocolate. So right now I'm rolling out the orange modeling chocolate. To make this cake easier to cover, I'm doing it in panels. So I'll be covering one side of the cake first. So I dripped the modeling chocolate over one side and I'm now smoothing it. While smoothing it, I'll try to tuck the modeling chocolate underneath the cake. Then using my knife, I'll cut the modeling chocolate at the middle, like so. Next, I'll make sure the modeling chocolate is properly tucked underneath the cake and then using my knife, I'll cut off the excess modeling chocolate. Similar to the first side, I'm now going to cover the other side of the cake with another sheet of modeling chocolate. Mm -hmm. 
just like I did with the first sheet of modeling chocolate I'm cutting the second one at the middle and then I'll push both sheets together so that the edges seal to each other here I'm tucking in the excess modeling chocolate underneath the cake before cutting it off after covering the cake I use the circular cutter to mark out areas for the eyes then I also marked out the mouth using my fondant tool. Next, using my finger, I'll push in the eye area a little to create the eye sockets. I'll be using white fondant to make the stripes on Nemo's body. So I'm now rolling out this white fondant very thin. Then using templates which I drew and cut out from paper, I'll cut out these stripes and attach them. I'm attaching the stripes using some vegetable fat as my glue. Then I'm trimming them down to size using my exacto blade. I'm cutting out the small stripes for the tail region. Then attaching and trimming it. Next, I'm molding the tail using orange modeling chocolate. So I've got a piece of paper, a template. So I keep checking to make sure I've got the right shape and size. After molding the tail, I will insert two cocktail sticks in it, then attach it to the cake. Next, using a knife, I marked out the lines on both sides of the tail. I'm now going to make the rest of the fins. So I'm making them similar to how I made the tail. I've got photos of Nemo that I keep referring to while shaping them. After getting the basic shape of this particular fin, I use the rolling pin to thin out the edge on one end, leaving the joining part thick. Then I use the knife to mark out the lines on both sides of the fin. Next, I rolled a tube-like shape out of white modeling chocolate. Then I attached it to the top end of the fin with some vegetable fat. I also created some lines on this white part of the fin using my knife. I'm now going to make the rest of the fins following the same procedure. I'm going to start attaching the fins so for the top one I'm using two cocktail sticks 
and some vegetable fat to attach it like so. Before I continue attaching the other fins, I will attach some white modeling chocolate to the end of the tail. Then I will attach the top fins in the tail region. I'm just rubbing some vegetable fat on the base of the fin before attaching it. Next, I will attach the two small pelvic fins at the bottom. Then the fins by the side. So I'm using cocktail sticks for these ones as well and some vegetable fat. For the smaller ones, I'm using just vegetable fat to attach them. Finally, I attached the bottom one located in the tail area. In my next step, I opened up the mouth a little bit with my fondant tool. Then I rolled some black fondant and inserted it into the mouth. I also added some white fondant as well for the teeth. For the eyes, I rolled out two balls of white fondant, flattened them with the edges made flatter and more thinned out than the rest. Then I attached them to the eye sockets using some vegetable fat. Next, I rolled out two small balls of orange modeling chocolate, flattened them, also thinning out the edges. Then I rolled and placed two tiny balls of black fondant at the middle of the orange circles. I also flattened them as well and then painted the circles with black edible food coloring. Finally, I put a speck of white just at the corners of each of the black circles. I also cleaned off most of the color from the brushes used to paint the black pupils and then used the brush to paint a bit of a shadow at the corner of the orange circle. Next, I attached the orange circles to the white part of the eyes using some vegetable fat. Then I painted the black lines on the fins and the stripes using some edible black gel color. Now we've gotten to the fun part, which is making the coral reefs. I colored some fondant with different colors and looking at photos of coral reefs online, I molded different ones.
To create the water effect, I wrapped my cake board with a square mold which had some foil paper inserted in it. Then I poured in some different colored piping gel on the cake board. The colors I used were light green, light blue and a darker shade of blue. So I marbled all three together and then left everything to set a little overnight. I also painted a little of the clear piping gel onto the eyes to give it that glassy effect. And there you have it. Our Nemo cake is done with a beautiful seabed and water effect. Um, so we've got a guest on the channel. Um, do you mind introducing yourself? Hi, my name is OK and uh, I'm Chidema's friend. So we have here a very beautiful cake. It's, it's a fish, but it's a cake. It's a cake fish, fish cake. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, uh, it has the theme of Nemo and uh, I like what I like most about the cake is the fish and the background. And you, see, you see the splashes of the sea theme and everything and looking at this cake alone you definitely know it's going to be yummy so i'm extremely shocked with this i mean it's it's, it's very it's very amazing and uh, thumbs up to chidima for this and this was this, this is a very good work so keep up the good work and i like you guys to subscribe to the channel you should keep uh, keep showing the love and there's loads of more videos to come i mean anything can be cake like she always says and who knows who knows what we'll get next week so thank you subscribe and there's loads of more to come so thank you very much and thank you for watching and now i'm going against the instructions of my two-year-old i'm going to cut this cake <laughs> I've now come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.